Welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. We are back yet again trying to win the hearts of all of these various villagers. Where we left off the last time is we got simped out of all of our cash and we were unable to actually do a lumberjack challenge. We are now going to go rectify that because we actually have enough money to accept the lumberjacks challenge. I just hope we win. I think I need a drink of water too because I'm almost out of out of water and eat some of my food. We'll go ahead and eat one of these flatbreads because that seems to do a pretty good job of restoring the majority of our food. And let's head back to the, where the villager is. Once we actually take on this lumberjack, I think what we're going to have to do is head down to Densia and actually try to finish one or two of these other quests we got from Alwyn. Oh, there he is. There's our lumberjack. Is he actually going to go and cut down a tree? Because that would actually be really fascinating if he did. What is he doing? Just walking in the woods? Where are you going? All right. I don't have time for this. We got stuff we got to do. We are going to do this lumberjack challenge, and we'll go. All right. So let's see if you can gather more logs than I can in one hour. 50 coins. Winner takes it all. All right. Woodcutter's Challenge. Deliver de deliver three logs. Is that all I have to do? Well, that's like no time whatsoever. This is barely a challenge. I was actually kind of hoping uh, to be a better lumberjack master than that, but apparently that's all it takes. I have a feeling this guy really only wanted me to do the work for him and therefore just trick me into doing this. Oh, there he is. He is walking in the woods like a lumberjack, so... All right, 100 coins and 30 more Dynasty reputation. We also got a food storage building. Oh, that is fantastic. Let's take a look at what that actually does. The village's main storage for food. It receives food collected in the hunting lodge, fishing hut, barn, and animal buildings. Inhabitants need this building to get food. Okay, all right. We should actually start working on that in the near future, working on food storage. Maybe that'll be something we're going to do directly after this. But for right now, I think we just need to go ahead and finish some more of these quests. We're going to head straight south, more or less, to Densia. And see how long it takes us to actually get there. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to actually cross the, the river. We're probably going to have to find a bridge. There we go, finally made it into town. We can go start picking up these quests and turning in a few that we actually have. Let's go ahead and start with this guy right up here. Ah, this is the guy we're supposed to warn about the wolves. Wow, okay, so now that I went and warned him about the wolves. He said we need to build a palisade. But in order to do that, he needs 40 logs. And of course, I'm the one he recruited to do it. Oh dear, this is gonna be forever. 
There we go. Alwyn's water skin. Please repair this because he's too lazy to walk all the way over here. Oh, of course you don't have enough. You need leather. Oh, okay, we got to hunt deer or boar and collect for leather. I think we have some leather back at the house, but in order to finish the quest, we actually have to do hunting as well. So maybe that's something we'll do here in the near future. But with it becoming dark out, I think it's time that we head back to our village before we pass out in the darkness. Apparently I'm also dirty now. Ah. Does that make me less attractive to the opposite sex? Possibly, possibly. Ooh, it's getting so dark. This is actually a really flat area of land. I am surprised I didn't try building here. You want to talk about farmland? This is where you go. Wow. A few big rocks, but a pickaxe or two would take care of that. Otherwise, my goodness, that is a great piece of land right there. It's a bit far away from the majority of towns, but my goodness. I know I'm going to have a few challenges in the area that I'm at because it's so hilly to do things such as farms and other animal raising, animal husbandry. After a long run through the forest at night, we have finally made it back to our little hamlet. Time for a bath and a nap. Most people just call that bedtime, but All right, with the new day starting, we have a couple things that we want to look at first and foremost. I'm looking at the building of a new food storage building. So we got wo our wood shed. Okay, so I guess we need one of those actually for a lumberjack. All right. And of course, we have our very storage buildings. Okay, we only need eight logs for food storage. So that's probably something we're going to need to do first and foremost. Let's go ahead and chop down some trees. There doesn't seem to be any restrictions as to where we have to be to place this. So maybe we can put it very close to where our barn is. There we go, right on the outskirts of where our barn is. All right. Let's go back and get our straw and what other sticks we have in order to finish this. Good thing we actually have lots of sticks. Oh no, we need a new hammer and we need a log in order to do it. Wow, we are just not having a very good day right now, are we? All of our tools are just randomly breaking. All right, we got our new hammer, we got our new ax, and we got a few logs and sticks.
All right, we need lots of logs. That seems to be our hold up at the moment. So we are definitely going to be the lumberjack master today. All right, let's go ahead and get a drink of water and then also put away some of these sticks and other things I have in my bags so I can carry more logs. I'm not entirely sure how I'm actually going to get all 40 logs to that other guy because I can't even carry more than a handful at a time, it seems, but we'll find out. Let's go ahead and add these logs to our little food storage hut. Now the bigger question is how do I get up there? Looks like we actually had to reach this from the outside. It's the only way to get it. But we're gonna go inside here and see what we can do. Is there anything else inside we need to build? Oh, one, there we go. And it looks like everything else is gonna require us to go outside. So we need two, six, and I think this is, okay, 10, 10 logs. That's it, and then we'll actually have our food storage location finished and ready to go, just in time for autumn. Go ahead and put some of our items in here. Actually, what I should probably end up doing is taking some of these items like rocks and feathers and, and straw and putting them in our actual storage building so that way I can use them when I need them. All right, we're way overweight now because I carried way too many way 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 too many items on me right now probably these rocks they're there's what they're not they're what's killing me yeah all right let's go ahead and drop our sticks or the rocks perfect rocks right there we're gonna run these to the barn because we do actually have this storage location right here which allows us to store all of our crafting materials which is definitely very helpful and probably where I should actually be storing all the items because individual houses don't actually have that much storage. Should probably keep that for food and whatnot. All right, let's go ahead and drop in these rocks. And now we should be able to go and finish cutting down a few more trees. We need 10 logs. Uh-oh, tree's gonna land on our house. Oh, 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 there it goes, there it goes. Oh, whew, for a second there, I thought I was actually gonna get stuck up there. I was slightly worried. Oh, there is a log up there now. Well, that's up there forever. Fall the other way. Good. Good. 
Excellent. All right, we now are currently sitting on five logs. If I cut down these two pine trees, I'm thinking this will be enough to finish our food hut. As long as our logs don't get stuck on top of our building again anyway. All right. Let's go ahead and put these back into our building and see if this finishes up. All right, and I think we just have to do the back here, and that should actually finish our food storage building. All right. Of course, this is where all of our food storage will go. Excellent, one more building done, and we are just in time for fall. All right, I think that's gonna be it for today. We got our food storage building done. We won the lumberjack competition, even though there wasn't much there, and then had to show up a little bit more and cut down more trees to finish our food storage hut. And next time we come back, it'll be the end of summer and we'll be entering autumn. During which time, I do believe we are gonna go back and try to finish one of our main chapter quests um, by successfully flirting with a lady. Yes, that's right. We're gonna try to get our flirtation on and see if we can get ourselves a wife. And if that doesn't work, maybe just get a few more tenants because now we have a building. We now actually have a barn to store items and food storage so we can probably get somebody out in the fields or at the very least start working on a lumberjack hut or a fishing hut in order to allow us to grow our village. But finishing this quest is very important so we get more dynasty reputation as well as get to the small farm status where we can have eight buildings because I think at this point in time we are at our building limit. Yes, we are at four buildings because we are right now just a, what are we? Does it even tell us? No, we're a camp. So it's just a small camp at the moment. So we'll be a small farm at eight buildings. There we go. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, God bless.